He's coming down from the Caucasus Mountains, bro. I don't know what type of ketamines you took before you walked into the shop. I don't know where you got naked at enough to jump in the little pond. It's a wrap for you, my boy. It's over for you. This was not the move you needed to take to start off your year. Like, <laughs> thinking about starting off your year, this is how you want to start your year off. This is nuts. Going to jail. It's tough. It's tough out here. I get it. Everyone has a lot going on. There's inflation. There's a lot going on in the streets right now. People are crying and complaining in real time. And I think people are starting to lose their minds. Because when I look at that, I'm like, damn, you could have at least kept the tank top on. You could have at least kept the boxers on, bro. You ain't have to go full commando in the pond. Like, damn, you had to do it like that. So when I look at these different scenarios, I have to ask the people, and please drop a comment. Do you feel like society is better off now or do we need a push back to like right before social media welcome back what's good this is the furious robinson podcast i'm your host furious your curator of conversation wordsmith aficionado voted most likely to have an amazing first date and if you're here shout out to you tap in early hit the like button drop a comment and subscribe i'm trying to hit 12,000 subs in real time but you know i'm always here to dabble in the dark arts because I'm not sure now why shrinkage is trending, why Bass Pro Shops is trending because somehow, some way, and I'm giving him the tag Bass Pro Shop Billy. You got to chill, brother. I don't know why you took it upon yourself. I'm not sure what type of ketamines bro had to pump on. I don't know what's going on in this guy's life, but this is where society is as a whole. The fact that the year just started, the year has just kicked off and somehow, some way, some human being from the Caucasus Mountains has come down and found himself in the Bass Pro Shop. Billy, you have to chill. <laughs> Bro jumped in. Wow. He's wild. He's ready to go to jail. So initially, my first thought is, oh, this guy's going to go to jail one for like lewd activity, but then also just being a sex offender. Because if there's any kids in this Bass Pro Shop right now, he's done. So let's just see how this turns out. This is wild. Come on, bro. Wow. Oh, wow. He just died. <laughs> Yo, he's baked. He's baked. Yo, I know that water is freezing cold. Like, first things first. Like, I know that water is cold as shit, but he's in there handling business, swimming around butt naked. This is wild, cuz. Bro, this is nuts. Wow. you can't tell me society isn't baked as a whole this guy is fried to the gills like what is he on that's what i want to know i want to give me the autopsy of the people still living like they don't gotta die like they don't have to pass away for us to understand like please someone dissect this man take a blood sample because i want to know what is going on like what is really happening right now this man is wow <laughs> he tried to run. He tried to run and fell out. <laughs> Bro. Oh, he got him locked in. Right on the tummy. Put the taser right on the tummy. Nah, don't act like don't play dead now. Don't play dead now. Guess who's going to jail tonight? <laughs> Bro, sleeping in the pokey butt naked is nuts. Like, you know how diabolical that is to be going to the county jail? Like, yo, come on, bro, in a blanket? Because they got to wrap him up, I assume. So this is wild to me. Man, fella, how big is that pool? Wow, there's fish in there, too. That's nuts. Yeah, he's wet. He's pretty good. This is sad. It does not really matter at this point. Society is cooked. Yo! If 
I'm the officer, I'm like, bro, come on, bro. You're making my day real strange right now. Oh, wow. <sighs> sad, sad, sad. Yeah. I can clearly see where that goes. To me, we are living in a wild society right now. You can essentially do anything you like. Now, that doesn't mean that it doesn't come with consequences, but at the end of the day, it's probably going to go viral. Now, I don't think that was his main objective. I don't think that was the main mission in him going to essentially jump in the pool at the Bass Pro Shop, but somehow, some way, he probably had that thought. Like, oh, this may be something that I could get off with. So I don't know what's going on now. I don't know if they're going to add this to the new GTA. The next trailer that comes out, you just see the dude jumping in at the Bass Pro Shop. But when I look at society now as a whole, something is essentially wrong. I'm not sure why I'm desensitized to that video because maybe five years ago, maybe 10 years ago, that video would have been like, oh, wow, this is, this is completely crazy. But I feel like now you see something like that every single day. Like every single day I see a video like that and I'm like, ah, this is kind of interesting. And I'm starting to connect the dots. Is society now going into a place of mediocrity and degeneracy? That's how I'm looking at it. I'm like, everyone is kind of being lazy, using their phones for everything. And then now there's just like a circus act daily. People aren't really elevating and building on self. They're just watching videos, essentially frying their minds in real time. And trust me, I'm right here with you. I'm watching the videos as well. It's coming across my feed as well. But at the same time, are we checking each other to say, yo, is your mental good? Is your mental good? Okay, cool. We straight? All right, cool. Because I'm not sure what people are doing now in society to where that video is. That's the main thing on my timeline right now. Shrinkage and Bass Pro Billy and Bass Pro Shop. He's coming down from the Caucasus Mountains, bro. I don't know what type of ketamines you took before you walked into the shop. I don't know where you got naked at enough to jump in the little pond. It's a wrap for you, my boy. It's over for you. This was not the move you needed to take to start off your year. Like, <laughs> thinking about starting off your year, this is how you want to start your year off. This is nuts. Going to jail. It's tough. It's tough out here. I get it. Everyone has a lot going on. There's inflation there's a lot going on in the streets right now people are crying and complaining in real time and i think people are starting to lose their minds because when i look at that i'm like damn you could have at least kept the tank top on you could have at least kept the boxers on bro you ain't have to go full commando in the pond like damn you had to do it like that so when i look at these different scenarios i have to ask the people and please drop a comment do you feel like society is better off now or do we need a push back to like right before social media? And maybe even if you're watching this video, you didn't even realize there was a time where people were actually outside. Like, and when I say people, I mean kids. Like you actually went outside and played, had fun. You was at the park, you was playing sports. Now I feel like this is a direct correlation to kids just not doing anything anymore. Now that's a grown adult, man. I'm sure he was around way before the internet. But when I look at the internet as a whole, I look at it as a marketing hub. I look at it as marketing and branding. So everything that someone sees, they're going to try to mimic. So a kid seeing that is going to try to mimic potentially that behavior to go viral. So I'm like, damn, we not even outside anymore. We really not touching the streets. We all in the digital streets. We all looking at digital, just reality TV shows in real time. These guys giving their commentation. This guy's a moron. Taze him. <laughs> like yeah tase him he definitely needs to be taken out now like yo this is crazy to me so when i look at things like that i really have to understand where is society going like do we feel like society is on the up and up like are we really trending up mentally like everybody has money they're always going to put it back on money everybody's making more money we got this big huge capitalistic society and you know you got your wealthy elites you got your middle class i think and then you got your you know impoverished people who are trying to figure it out and even your homeless people you know without a home so i look at all these different dynamics and i'm like damn is this a homeless guy it doesn't seem to be that way the thing that gave it away is he's not homeless because he jumped in the pool twice like if he, <laughs> if he didn't jump in that second time i'd be like ah okay he's not that caught like he knew what he was doing he knew exactly what he was doing when he jumped in that pond for the second time. This is the Furious Robinson Podcast. If you're here, tap in, hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe. You already know what time it is. You see the planes. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we up.